Strife is here in Marvel Strike Force. And in this video, I am attempting to answer the question, is he worth it? Yes, so I have bought his pack. We're gonna open some orbs. I'm gonna rank up the character. Then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna take him into battle in a few different game modes, Blitz and War. And I'll give you my thoughts, my opinions on this character. See if this character is worth your money. So if you're ready for all of that, guys, you know what to do. Let's go smash it. Alley flying. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Fine here. Oh, yeah. I am back. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are talking about Strife, the newest character to come to Marvel Strike Force. He is the protector of this Marauders team. So what I have done in this video, I have bought the pack for Strife. We're going to open some orbs for this character as hopefully uh, we get lucky. I have not ever gotten really lucky and got a 180 pull, but hopefully this will be the first time. I'm going to build them up off screen. Then I'm going to come back and we are going to take that Marauders team or the Marauders team that we have so far into battle. So a uh, few different game modes, Blitz, War, and then I'm going to take a look at his kit. I'll give you my thoughts on the T4s that are most valuable to this character, if any. And then I will answer the question for you guys. Is he worth it? Before we get into all that, Will Harder, guys. Yeah. So if you want some Valley merch, check out the link for T Public. There's also some other links, man. Make sure you check out my other channel, Valley Flying 76. Another video should be going up on that channel later today. But we are here for Strife. So let's go into the game. Boom. Marvel Strike Force. All right. So let's go into the orb chamber and open some orbs for my boy Strife. Where is it? Did I just pass it? No, it is right here. We got eight of these to go. So. Hopefully I get lucky and uh, I am not feeling good. But the past history has not been very good to me on these orb openings, but maybe this will be the first time. There's always the first time for everything, guys. Boom. First one, it is uh, 20. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh my goodness. All right. Another one. Hopefully we get a little more uh, lucky. Maybe a or uh, purple, maybe a gold. Let's see. Where's the gold? Oh, we got a green. Worst possible drop. Next one is a boom. Oh, it's another green. It is another green. We started off good. Not so good right now. Let's, let's see what we get here. Uh, oh, it is 12. It's 12. Let's get, let's, let's get some more colors. We've gotten the blues. We've gotten the greens. Let's see what we get here. Four more to go, guys. Oh, it is a 10. 10. Not so bad. Not so bad. Will we get will we get him up to three stars on this uh, on this orb opening, guys? I hope so. I'm crossing my fingers. Three more to go. Boom. Oh, it is green again. Not good. Not good. Two more to go. Will we get lucky? Will we get lucky, guys? Mm. Uh, it is. Oh, it is another green. One more to go. One more to go. Last one, guys. And boom. Oh, is that another green? All right. So hard value for me. 24 bucks. Got 76 orbs or fragments of strife and all of these materials. Not a lot of good drops in these materials, not a lot of gold and 24 bucks. Is that worth it to you? So right off the bat, you could answer that question for yourself. What I'm going to do, we're going to go out of this screen. We are going to recruit this character. We will build him up to all his uh, two star glory, guys, and we will take him into battle. See what we can do here. Boom. Yes, two stars. Not sure what we can do. Actually, you know what? We will do one more thing before we take him into battle. I have one of these red star orbs, guys. That's all I got. So let's see what we get here. Maybe we'll get Strife. Maybe we'll get something else. But right after this, I'm going to go build up that character. And is it Strife? It is green. No, it is not Strife. All right. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to build up Strife and we will take him into battle as is. So I was able to build him to an ugly, ugly, weak, pathetic 11,000 power. Five, four, four, three. Not even all the skills. Only level 45. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so this gameplay will be more based on the fun and seeing the interactions. And my real analysis will be based on his kit later. Uh, the test server is up and running as I am speaking, but a Strife is not available on that test server 
server yet. So we will have to uh, wait and see for some actual uh, high level gameplay. But uh, let's go take a look at the gameplay right now, see what the interactions are, and then we'll go take a look at the kit and I'll give you my final analysis on this character. So here we are. This is the team that we're going to take into battle, guys. Now, my target for Mr. Sinister is Minerva. Probably got to use that special on turn one to clear the taunt from Drax. And then we should be good. This Miss Marvel or this Captain Marvel might be problems, but because she is only really, really low power, that is the match for Strife right there. Don't you think she'll be too much of an issue? So let's go test this out. Had to drop down to tier six, by the way, to test out this team. Uh, I think this team will win, but uh, yeah, this is not the ideal setup for them power wise. So hopefully this match goes well and uh, hopefully we get to showcase enough of Strife and Mr. Sinister. Like I said, the target for the clone right here is going to be Minerva. We're not going to blind them. We're not going to pull them all together. Now, I would normally I would try to use this basic right here to try to get that taunt off of Drax opening up Minerva for Mr. Sinister. Honestly, I don't think he has the focus for it, but uh, let's let's see. I don't definitely don't want to taunt with him right now. Boom. Oh, he got it off. What a surprise. I'm very surprised with that. Let's let's use the blind. Let's bring them all together. Boom. And Minerva. Oh, we, we dropped Captain Marvel with that, but Minerva brought him back to life. We need to clear this taunt off of her here. Uh, there we go. Nice, nice, nicely done. All right. Oh, and Strife survived. Now, they are very similar power levels. The really weak Captain Marvel, the really weak Strife. So not, not that great of a test there, like as far as the survivability. But he did take the ultimate from Captain Marvel. All right, we need a Minerva on our team. And oh, that is nasty. Oh, and this is a percentage based attack. So even though Minerva is very low level, this will do some damage to the other team and heal us up a little bit. Strife should be back at full health. By the way. No, not at full health. Oh, takes another Captain Marvel hit. Oh, and he's probably gone in the next hit. Oh, no, Captain Marvel doesn't do it. Uh, it is because of that Captain Marvel taking that last hit. Let's uh, finish this off right here. And Minerva might be able to bring Strife back to life, actually. So ability block on this one, or does he taunt? I don't know if the taunt is a good idea, guys, but he will generate some ability energy for the Marauder. So uh, yeah, he's probably going to die here, but the, the plan is Minerva to bring him back to life. Let's see what happens here. Boom. And let's get that taunt off of Drax. There Minerva dies, deflected. It's still surviving. Surprising at that two star level i mean uh, all of the hits did come from captain marvel but just saying i wasn't expecting him to survive this long and getting some health back from mr sinister too even at this low level you kind of see how this team is interacting and working together just working very well should i kill drax or go after ronin or kill this uh what do you call that it's captain marvel Let, let's go after this. let's go after noble Got a little bit of healing for a strife. Oh, another big hit from Captain Marvel. Oh, there's a real hit. That's a real character right there. Oh, and there he goes. There goes our strife. We need our Minerva to bring him back to life. Maybe not. This might be it for them. And two hits will do it for Captain Marvel. Let's get him back on the field, though. So we if this was a campaign mission, this would be a three-star clear. Last one, the nullifying blast. Doesn't do much to Captain Marvel. Boom. That should take away one death proof. Does this clear another death proof? Yes, and there we go. There it is, tier six, even at this low level. I gotta say, I'm a little impressed with Strife right now. Even at that 11K power, all of the hits were coming from Captain Marvel, but I am a little impressed. Let's go take them this same team into war right now though, guys. All right, guys, so I took this team into war and I actually made a mistake, I was recording the wrong screen. But as you can see, this team right here did pretty good punch pretty much across against the team of Black Widow, Venom, Spider-Man, Captain America, and Gravidon. Kind of a weird team. I was looking for a team that was around the same power level. A lot of meta teams way above it. A lot of just bad teams way below it. So this was the only team that I found with a similar power level, which is why I ended up facing them. And the, t the character that I ended up cloning was Captain America. He used that Inspire right on turn one and was able to give everybody defense up and was able to taunt to make that team survive a little bit more. And as you can see, this guy's ended at full health. So apologize not having the footage, but this team did very well in war as well. Wasn't designed to be a war offense team, more designed for war defense, but uh, I am very, very pleased with the results and strife. Look at him, full health guys, even at this low power level. All right guys, so here we are in msf.gg, taking a look at strife's 
kit, which is going to be worth a T4 investment, if any. Let's take a look at his basic Psychic Striker, attacking the primary target 300% damage. If that target has taunt, you're gaining the taunt up to a maximum of three. You're clearing the taunt from the target. Very, very important. So against those Drax teams, this is a very, very good counter for that. If Mr. Sinister is an ally, you're going to transfer the positive effects from the primary target to Mr. Sinister. At level six, this is only four targets, and you're getting 50% more damage when you put that T4 into his basic. It is a good skill, but here's my thing. I don't know how many enemies you're going to face that have more than four buffs on them. Maybe there's an exception. I mean, there's a loot cage that once in a while, but very rarely you're going to see that. So I'm not sure if this is worth the initial investment in that T4 right away. But uh, this, this is a very solid one if you're really using Strife a lot. Next one is Superiority. Gaining plus one taunt to a maximum of three. Three deflects. Bury yourself for 15% of this of this character's max health. Generating two ability energy for two random Marauder allies. Now, what does the T4? It gives him five or percent extra max health or barrier for his max health. I don't know if this is really worth the T4. This is probably something really, really late if you're heavily investing in the Marauders, but I am not sure if that 5% is going to make a huge difference to make, to use that T4 investment to really make it worth it. His ultimate nullifying blast, applying ability block to the target or the primary target and adjacent targets, which is huge. It is very, very huge if you could attack the correct target. If nobody's taunting, nobody's in stealth, very good, good maneuver, a lot of damage. Uh, 420% damage, so nice, nice. What does the ultimate do? It's actually increasing the damage by significantly. 60% more damage to the primary target and adjacent targets. This is a very, very good T4. Uh, probably not one that I would do right away. Normally, the T4s that I invest in aren't just a damage one. They are some that really give a lot of boost to potentially a lot of characters and really uh, maximize that squad's uh, effectiveness because of the trickiness that this uh, kit provides. Uh, his passive though, this is this is a pretty good one. So a lot of stuff here. This is a big wall of text. So bear with me guys on spawn fill 10% of speed bar, 10% of speed bar per mutant villain ally. So if he is in that uh, Marauders team or that hybrid team like we just seen, he is gonna go very, very quickly. On turn, if taunting, gain plus one deflect to a maximum of three, which is gonna help with his tankiness. When an allied Mr. Sinister drops below 50%, you're gaining one taunt to a maximum of three. Gaining 15% barrier of this character's max health. This is only 10% uh, without that T4. So that is one of the things that it does on war defense. So this is only for war defense. So again, kind of like that Colson T4. So if you're going to be using him a lot, uh, then great. But if you're only going to be placing him on war defense, using that three times a week, I am not sure if all the rest of this stuff is worth it, but it really does some good stuff if you're going to be using him on war defense, and that is a high priority for you. He's going to gain 50% resistance. Mutant allies are going to gain 15% resist, more resistance, and this is an extra 10 from what it is without the T4. Gaining 50% more focus, and villain allies are also going to gain 50% more focus, and that goes up from 10, uh, by 10 as well. So. I, this one and the basic, I think, are the biggest ones. If you're just looking for pure damage, that ultimate is looking really nice. And the special, that is something that could wait till way later. All right, guys, and now the ultimate question, is he worth it? And the answer to that is it depends. It depends how heavily you are investing in this Marauders team. If you have already bought Mr. Sinister, then I would say it's a no brainer. You, I think you need to get the tank of this Marauders team if you really, really want to build up that squad. If you did not already invest in Mr. Sinister and you're not going to go hard on his blitzes to unlock this character, then I would say this character is not worth it at all because I don't see a lot of value outside of this pure Marauders team or outside of a hybrid mutant team for this character, at least until he becomes farmable. Not, not a lot of value at two stars or three stars. Maybe at five stars is when he starts getting a little more valuable. So if you're planning to invest him until then, then yes. But if you're only gonna leave him at two stars, uh, if you're not making a video like I am, I am not sure if this character is worth it for you. So. That is it. Let me know what you think of this character. Are you going to invest in him or are you going to wait? And are you going to go hard on his blitzes coming up uh, at the end of the month? Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, make sure you are subscribing to the channel, sharing this with all of your friends, smashing that like button and ringing that bell, guys, joining the notification squad. Before you go, make sure you check out some of the links down below that are supporting the channel. Blue Stacks, 
Patreon. There is a link to the other game I'm playing, Dragon Champions, and the channel does get credit if you use that link on your mobile device. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you follow me on social media. Let's get a Hulk fist bump for Strife, baby. Valley flying out!